Well, uh, welcome back dear students. Again myself, uh, Dr. Giridhar, Associate Professor from Sayadri Kamasan Management College from the Department of MBA, which is a constant college of uh, Coimbatore University. In the last uh, unit number 9 and uh, 10, we have uh, understood the Sikh industries and uh, unit number 10, we have understood corporate social responsibilities. As for the corporate social responsibility, we have understood that a company is, which is an artificial person created by the law and uh, that company is established in the society, for the society and of the society. So therefore, they are making the profit out of the society and equally they are having the responsibility. That responsibility is called as a corporate res social responsibilities and we have well understood what is totally corporate social responsibility is all about. And in the unit number 11, let us understand business ethics. Probably going to watch in that slide the principle of ethic, reliability, trust, responsibility, choice, uh, behavior, relationship, morality, all such is called as a business ethics. So now let us understand uh, let, uh, let me divide the business ethics as a business and ethics. What is business? Any individual entity or uh, an organization or uh, an institute uh, do undertaken any commercial, industrial or professional activity is called business. Let me repeat here. Any individual or an entity, an institution, an organization engaged in any commercial activity or any industrial activity or any professional activity. So that is called as a business. If you are manufacturing, you are running a hotel, you are running a brick and mortar store, you are running a bank, you are running a aviation industry, transportation industry, any other industry you are doing, that is called as a business in the eyes of law. And on the other hand, we have ethics. So, as for the word, ethic is uh, derived from the uh, Greek word ethos. Ethos means behavior or a character. In total, ethics means it is a behavior or a character of an individual or a, con or, or a company. So therefore, here according to uh, this, let us have a look into the meaning. The principles of the conduct governing by an individual or a group of people is called as a ethics. It is a principle all about your conduct, whether you are having a positive behavior, positive nature or a negative behavior or a negative behavior. So it is called as an ethics. So unless you are uh, distinguish between the thick line what is right and what is wrong, that is an ethic. We understand what is right, what is wrong, that is an ethic. I mean why especially in a business we have to follow ethic? Let us understand what is business ethics is all about in the meaning of this. So one is a business, an individual or an institution or an organization running a commercial activity, industrial activity or a professional activity on the base of the principle or uh, conduct of what is good and what is bad. So this is what uh, the business ethics is all about. That's what the definition. You just look at uh, T. M. Garrett definitions. Very beautifully as narrated the business ethics. He says that business ethics is a study of uh, moral rightness or wrongness of the act involved in production, distribution, and exchange of economic goods and services. Uh, very beautifully, uh, Garrett. Uh, narrated the definitions, it is <coughs> the moral rightness or wrongness in terms of production. You are producing the mass product for mass, probably you are following the right and you are uh, producing the product which is not required for the society, this is your moral wrongness. So that uh, ethics follows even in the distribution, follows even in uh, advertisement. Probably now we are going to watch n number of advertisement where uh, ethics is not at all followed and you take uh, so many face cream advertisement, they would uh, uh, say that you are going to use uh, six weeks, uh, you become darker to fairer and you are going to use this uh, health drinks, uh, you can weight gain or weight loss. 
probably if you use it for years together you won't get anything and if you look some soft drinks advertisement you will get freshness if you though you consume such a soft drinks you won't so all such are not following the ethics so therefore now i believe that you understand what is uh, the business ethics is all about let's uh, look uh, this uh, slide here then what is business ethics if you are doing the ethics with morality see here so many uh, business people are going to cheat uh, the customers in the weight so this is ethical and uh, you have a social responsibility you have to safeguard the environment whatever the product you Uh, manufacture should be environmental friendly if not so that is an ethical kind of a business and there is a trust for each other so you are uh, uh, managing the fund of the shareholders and they must have a shareholders must have a trust with you that their money is uh, well utilized by you and the banker going to give you a loan and banker must have a trust in you that uh, if i give you loan you would uh, Uh, able to pay back uh, their money back in the EMI, all such, and the customer, if they're going to use your product, uh, it 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 won't harm to their health or something else. If there is no mutual uh, trust, uh, probably you are not doing your business ethically. The next one is the reliability. So what happens as far the reliability uh, is concerned, uh, you have the basic. Uh, vision plan for the company uh, what is the vision plan you have to make a plan that where i should be next one year where i should be next five years down the line from today where i should be next 10 years down the line from today and next 30 years down the line from today say for example today your company is a local one local company next five years down the line you have to make a plan that my company should reach state level so now Uh, your company is a regional level company across the karnataka you are having a branches next 10 year you have a uh, vision plan that uh, my product should reach the nook and corner of the country so that's how and probably next 20 years down the line you want to see your company as a multinational company where you want to uh, see your, your own branches in many nations many indian banks are operating many countries say for example sbi is having more than 40 branches in for uh, 40 uh, branches in 40 plus country our icic industrial credit and investment corporation of india bank and our uh, industrial development bank of india many ba- many indian banks are into other countries and our maruti suzuki uh, limited is into other uh, country this is how our uh, reliability uh, works out and uh, behavior see if your behavior with your own customers your own financiers or your stakeholders is not good your public conduct is not good uh, probably it is not an ethic or it is against uh, the ethic and uh, the next one is you have a choice of doing the business when you come to the industry you can uh, you can start any type of the business but you have to start the right type of the business that's what you have to choose uh, the best choice and we have to have a cordial relationship with all our uh, uh, stakeholders and uh, there is a principle for any business and you got to follow such principles day in and day out so this is what uh, the ethics says and ethical conduct for any uh, business so now what are the principles that a business is having in terms of the ethic one is honest you must do your you, you must be very honest with uh, your customer and you have taken the loan from the banks and you have to pay on time and uh, you have procured the raw materials from your suppliers you must be in honest uh, to place a order to them itself if you want to change the supplier you honestly inform them before you uh, change and uh, you have to make the payment uh, on time in total in total you must uh, be honest and uh, as much as possible as for the second principle say avoid conflict so no need to go for the conflict as a business is concerned so you are the board of directors you are the part and parcel of the management you are not alone right and you need not enter into the conflict with any of the stakeholders if such a type of circumstances arises 
sit together, discuss why the conflict arises. You understand from the origin and try to resolve it. If you are going for the uh, conflict that comes in a newspaper, a bad word of mouth would be spread and whatever the you know, brand name you have heard, good name you have heard, goodwill you have heard would definitely go west. And uh, compliance, see you are managing the funds of the general public, you manage it well and uh, the next principle says the relevant information. See, in the last unit, unit number 10, we have discussed that, see why we every time once in a year going to have an annual general body meeting to disseminate the progress of your company to all your shareholders. So, and there you present everything, you give them an annual report, what is going on in and around the company, you are going to disseminate them. And when the company is having the information to be disseminated to the general public, you disseminate. The company is not yours, it is a public company. So therefore, when in times of need, you definitely share all such information. And law by abiding. See, there are n number of law in the land right from Indian Negotiable Instrument Act of 1881 to Banking Regulation Act of 1949, Companies Act of 2013, Indian Consumer Protection Act of 1986 and 2019 and Indian Income Tax Act of 1965, uh, Industrial Dispute Act, there are man, hundreds of acts a company need to follow. To, payment, to make the payment of income tax, we have to follow the income tax act. If you want to make any alteration in the memorandum of association, alteration in the articles of association, you have to cross check the industrial companies act of 2013. If you want to issue any prospectus, if you want to issue shares, you have to follow the corporate law here. If you want to convert your shares into stock, stock into warrant, warrant into a share, anything, if you want to wind up the company, you have to follow the corporate law. So therefore here, you have to follow all such law, environmental law to every law you have to follow it. The next one is fulfilling the commitments. When you establish, at the time of establishing the company, you have uh, given some assurance to the people of the country or the stakeholders of the country. And when you have assured and you have to follow your own commitment. So this is what the principles of the business ethics says that. So then what are the sources to develop a ethics? Which are the sources available for us to develop the ethics? <coughs> Four major sources, you just look in the slide, there are four major ethics. One is a personal ethic and organizational culture, organizational system and external stakeholders. So here personal ethics, probably you may, you, you may feel that a company is not an individual. Say you are an entrepreneur, you are a sole trader, yes of course, a company is yours and whatever the personal ethics. Uh, a proprietor is having that follows. But as for the company is concerned, the board of directors are the managing uh, uh, people, the CEO is one who is very active to look after the day to day affairs or the managing director uh, is the one who uh, looks the day to day affairs of uh, the company. So therefore, based on the management or based on an indi individual uh, uh, you know, entrepreneur, the kind of beliefs he has having, the kind of value he is having in the life and the morality which the company is having or an individual entrepreneur is having or the ethical frame which is set in the beginning of the company you need to follow. You need to set up the ethical issues, you have to set up the values, you have to set up certain beliefs where it has to be disseminated to all your stakeholders and they strongly believe in you and probably they would continue uh, further uh, commercial activities with your company. Let's have a look of the organizational culture. See, any company at the time of establishing, there would be few promoters, I mean few people who conceive the idea of incorporating the company and uh, they bring somehow they manage the money okay and they convince the shareholders 
I mean before the before convincing the shareholders they will go to the register of the company so there they would prepare the memorandum of association articles of association prospectus with all such a document they would go to the register of the company your company should be registered now yours is a registered giant stock company so once your company is registered as a giant stock company you can issue the shares to the general public debenture to the general public so therefore how the company started who is the founder of the company what are the milestone it has followed what are the heritage of the company it has followed what are the small stories it has developed we have to cross check before setting the uh, you know ethics before entire milestone of yours would help you to get the uh, ethics and uh, another the third one is organizational system one organization we can look at two types one is a structure and another one is a process as the structure of the organization is concerned we have many uh, structure one is a line organization and staff organization line and staff organization committee organization matrix organization project organization there are different types of company and a company cannot follow all structure it may follow one structure say committee form of organization or project organization or matrix organization which are our line and staff organization you you follow any com any any structure based on the structure you frame the policy you frame the rules you frame the methodology you frame the uh, procedure you you set up the uh, selection process training process development process promotion process everything so based on that here we develop the ethics and the next one is the external stakeholders so in the last uh, two modules we have seen who is a stakeholder i already distinguished between the shareholder and the stakeholder shareholder is a person who has invested his money on the company so according to the companies act of 1956 a share is a share in share capital of a company a share is a part of share capital of a company and the person who holds the share is called as a shareholder and the stakeholder including your shareholder including your own employees your customers government society external environment everything is uh, considered as the stakeholder so therefore while dealing with your business you have to see all such so every milestone of the company you will get a lot of inputs to follow certain ethics and you must be in position to know what is good what is bad to your company and now we have all understood and discussed the factor influencing the business ethics there are 10 important factors which influence all are self explanatory so here the one is the individual factor as we have seen in the previous slide individual means again you would be having the uh, doubt individual means who whether the manager or, or the an entrepreneur or a sole or a sole owner or the board of directors okay however the company is running if it is a sole trading company individual means the owner if it is a, a partnership company uh, individual means partners if it is a joint stock company individual means board of directors right so therefore here their knowledge pertaining to the industry or the company which they are into the values which uh, they have given for this business for the business for the country for the society so the morality the personal goals the personality which they have which they have all such considered as the personal factor for development of the ethics and the social factors is concerned as uh, social factor is nothing but social is nothing but the society where uh, we you these entrepreneurs this businessman this professionals the commercial people everybody is residing right so therefore uh, the, the culture we are coming from see india again it's a subcontinent uh, and it's a huge country and uh, if you go to tamil nadu the culture is different if you go to goa if you go to kerala if you go to west bengal eastern part of the country western part of the country Kash uh, jammu kashmir and all wherever you go you find the different culture different subculture different tradition 
it's a big country different religion people are uh, you know living here you, you, yours is a product same product you are selling to across india you are selling in the south india north india eastern part of india central part of india southern part of india you are selling to all religion so therefore you have to take care of all such right the next one is the code of conduct we have understood the corporate culture we have understood so then ethical and climate issues we have understood the role of government in business ethics we have seen that the government has established various law for every type of business we have a law we have an act we have a different sections we have different clauses which we have to follow legal systems we we know it and uh, the religion sh issues we i spoke about uh, the next one is the uh, society's expectation from a company see as for the society's expectation is concerned let me take the example why the most of the either the graduates or the post graduates are heading towards any uh, metropolitan towns or the cosmopolitan towns in search of their career so uh, around 80% of the karnataka's revenue alone comes from the bangalore Karnataka is a huge, huge state in terms of the geography, right? Bangalore is a, a place or it's a district, but 80% of the Karnataka's revenue comes from Bangalore alone. You just think of it. And most of the software industry to other industries are situated in Bangalore and people are going towards the Bangalore after their medicine, after their engineering, master's degree and any professional, non-professional degree they are heading towards. So means there is a lot of, we, we, we could see a lot of uh, regional imbalances. So therefore people are going towards that. And if you're gonna uh, start your business uh, in the uh, grade three cities, grade B cities, grade uh, other kind of a cities, uh, probably uh, students or uh, other people in search of job, they won't go. So therefore this is what the another issue and the leadership. So here, as for the companies are concerned, there are different types of leadership a company can have. One is a product leader, another one is a market leader, another one is a price leader, uh, many, many leaders. As for the price leader is concerned, if you increase the price, you are, uh, the, the, the people, the companies who are in the market, they would increase. If you decrease the price, they would do that. If you gain even any offer, they would follow it. If you launch any type of product, they would watch it. So therefore, if you want to become the corporate leader, you must uh, wish to become the ethical corporate leader. That must be your motto. And uh, the next aspect, which is related to business ethics. What is value? See, as for the meaning of, uh, say so here again, uh, to understand the uh, particular uh, word of value or the literal value, uh, I mean, uh, literal value, I mean, meaning of the word value, individually you try to understand value pertaining to an individual, value pertaining to an industry. So either uh, it's pertaining to an industry or, uh, in, uh, or an individual, there is a line between everything. You must be in position to distinguish between the good, bad, right, wrong, desirable, justifiable, not desirable, not justifiable, kind of. Say for example, if you're gonna manufacture any product, uh, you must uh, deliberately know whether this is good or bad. So now we, we are buying so many edible oils, right? They're selling at 150 rupee, right? And groundnut oil, they, they are selling at 150 rupee. Probably, is it possible by you to sell the groundnut oil for a liter at 150 rupees? This is highly impossible. If you are doing your business ethically, probably cannot sell less than 300 rupees. If you fix uh, 300 rupees for a liter of edible oil, people are not going to buy it. So, lot of uh, you know mixture you, you could see in this. So, that's what if you are able to uh, highlight what is good, what is bad, whether this is required, whether uh, this is desirable by the society, by the people, that's what the value we which uh, give it to society. And uh, the next next aspect <coughs> is moral or morality. Moral and morality is one and the same. As for the moral or morality is, 
it's an individual or a corporate belief that it gives you a judgment what is right and what is wrong based on your culture based on your religion based on your experiences if you are following the moral probably you will go back to your uh, you know walks of life and how you born where you born and the kind of education you got from your family and the kind of primary education uh, your teachers uh, played as a role model you were uh, in a friends role lot of other things gonna uh, coming to the picture for development of uh, the moral so then what are the moral principles so this is how a moral develops what are the moral principles be good do good don't uh, cheat any people or be loyal and uh, be patient in times of difficulty next always tell truth don't uh, tell lie and be generous these are all uh, generic principle of moral and uh, let's now understand uh, business ethics as personal integrity so uh, till this point of time we have understood what is business what is ethics what is business ethics what are the principles of business ethics what is moral what is morality what are the principles of morality or what are the principles of moral so now let's understand the business ethics as uh, personal integrity as uh, just look at the meaning it's very interesting as for the uh, personal integrity in case of the business ethics is concerned it's a moral principle and the standard that guide uh, behavior and decision making of an individual with a business context you are a businessman okay you are in running the business you need to take several decisions the day in and day out on what base you take a decision you have some morally culturally attached behavior which guides you do this don't do this go for this don't go for this this is desirable in the society this is not desirable in the society it guides you according to that uh, you are going for this so then what are the things we are going to look at uh, in the business ethics as far as the personal integrity is concerned one is honesty here the personal integrity is concerned you as an entrepreneur you as a businessman or you as the man of management one is uh, you must be honesty in terms of deliberating your business and the next one is you must be very fair in producing the product or uh, fixing the price or you know giving the advertisement you, you must take care of and accountability as uh, uh, discussed earlier you are investing uh, here the public money you mean you are, you have invested your shareholders money your debenture holders money your preference shareholders money uh, your uh, you know uh, you have taken the loan from the bank financial institutions and, and something else so therefore you are accountable to all these people so you have to do good therefore here this is not your money so you need not to cheat the people right so you have to be accountable and whatever the business you do you must be transparent not to do any hide and seek kind of the business everything must be in the black and white right so that's what the transparency is all about the next one is respect you must respect the value of the other people you must safeguard the right of the other people you must take the opinion from uh, all your uh, uh, stakeholders all such so therefore these are all the uh, key components one is uh, be honest be fair be accountable be transparent and be respectful to every one the next one is uh, business ethics in social responsibility so in the last line we have understood that the business ethics in personal integrity so now we are discussing the business ethics in corporate uh, social responsibility the same thing here there is no uh, new meaning for this so there we have seen the personal integrity here we are seeing the Uh, social uh, responsibility so but still for a curiosity sake you just go for the meaning of the business ethics as for the corporate uh, uh, 
social responsibility is concerned. It's the obligation of a business to act in the ways that benefit at large to the society. Whatever the activity you do, that should be largely benefited to the society, not just to a company, that should be largely benefited to the company. And it continues, extend beyond profit making, include the effort that enhance the well-being of the community and environment. Your ultimate motto shouldn't be just making the profit. It should be largely uh, helping the people who are part and partial of the society with all commitment towards the society and the environment. You are not, as I told uh, earlier, you are not supposed to harm by producing any harmful product to the environment. That's what it says. So now, as we have seen in the last slide, let's see the key components of business ethics as social responsibility is concerned. One is a sustainability. As for the sustainability is concerned, you have to go, go with the face. You are not, uh, you know, destroy the environment uh, which is given as a God a gift uh, and uh, it should be a long lasting. I mean, there must be a perpetual succession. The next one is the community engagement. As for the community engagement is uh, concerned, you have to give some charity, you have to involve uh, the volunteers uh, and uh, you should go for the society to understand the problems in the society and eradicate such problems by giving your uh, uh, money, your time, your effort uh, or something else. The next uh, one is a corporate citizenship. I told what is corporate citizenship is all about. Corporate or a company is an artificial person. So like a natural person, how a natural person is having a, a fundamental right. An artificial person being a company is also having some rights. right? It can enter uh, contract with any person, it can interact with uh, agreement with any person or a natural person can interact uh, agreement or contract with uh, this artificial person as such. But in total, being a corporate citizenship, you have some philanthropic activity need to be undertaken, you have some social responsibility need to be undertaken. And uh, welfare, uh, employee welfare, you have to recruit the right people in the right time and you have to give them a, a justifiable salary, your incentives must be good and if your employees are happy and your company would be very happy, you can do your business better, right? And uh, the last one is business ethics and law. The countries like India, we are having hundreds of law. I told, you know, beginning, we have one of the very, very old law, Indian Negotiable Instrument Act of 1881. Then we have a Reserve Bank Act, then the Companies Act, Industrial Dispute Act, Industries Act, Banking Regulations Act, Income Tax Act, so then Insurance Act, Consumer Dis uh, uh, Industrial Dispute Act, Consumer Protection Act, then the Labor Act, Plantation Labor Act, there are n number of acts which you have to follow while uh, doing your business. And let's uh, see, there are various law. I, I mean, I told many law and there are few law here mentioned. As for the business law, you have one such law is a contract law where you enter into the contract with uh, the other person for your business activity. We have an employment law, the minimum wages you have to give. So then uh, whom to recruit, whom not to recruit, uh, when to recruit, uh, what is the age of minimum uh, recruitment, how much salary need to be given, all such is mentioned in the employment law. The con corporate law, <coughs> as for the corporate law is concerned, uh, the way in which you establish a company, incorporate of a company and uh, according to this, so what is a memorandum of association, what is articles of association, the meaning and definition is uh, there, given there, what is the prospectus and how can you uh, establish your company and uh, how can you issue the shares, to whom you can issue the shares, when you can convert the share into stock, when you can convert the share into warrant, when you convert the warrant into stock, stock into share, as such then um, transfer of shares, winding up of the company, everything is very clearly written. So therefore, here you have to follow all such law. So then we have an intellectual property right, you have written a book, you have invented something, 
you take a copyright you have you take a patent right <coughs> under the patent right you will get uh, uh, the you know uh, law protection as such you need to follow and there are many regulatory compliances a business has to follow so in entire uh, business ethics we have understood uh, uh, that what is business what is ethics what is business ethics uh, and uh, uh, business uh, ethics and uh, personal integrity social integrity business law well understood and uh, i wish you all the best and uh, see you in the module 12 thank you so much